Hey guys, welcome to episode three of the Ram Rebuild. If you guys haven't been following this little mini series I'm doing in episode one, I did a price breakdown of all the parts involved and aftermarket prices versus OEM prices in a crash repair like this. In episode one, we also rebuilt all the broken parts in the suspension. In episode two, we redid the body and got it looking like a real truck again. And in this episode, episode three, we're redoing the interior. When you get into a crash like this, sometimes airbags deploy. And in my case, we have two deployed airbags. We have a seat airbag, we have a headliner airbag. We also have a little switch in the center console that's broken. And then we have two deployed seat belts. When you get into a car accident, sometimes your seat belts will lock really hard and they're actually, they're not usable after that. What happens is there's a little mechanism in the bottom, just like an airbag with a little bit of gunpowder that explodes and it shoots these little balls into the seat belt mechanism. Really cool little thing. You can look it up to read more about it. It's why in accidents, you'll see people with like really bad seatbelt bruises. That's because their seatbelt locked up and they like, you know, their body thrusted at whatever speed they were going at into their deadlocked seatbelt. So those leave really nasty bruises, but we'll save your life. So we have two of those deployed in my car and both of them have to be replaced. All right, so you can see this white one up here, this is the headliner airbag. This deploys from inside the headliner. And then this pink one right here, this deploys from inside the seat. So it just kind of like rips the seam open, rips the seam open like this, and then it just pops out. The way we're gonna replace the top one is the headliner actually has to come down. So we have to pull out all these little things, unbolt the headliner and the headliner will just kind of come down. We'll put the new one in, put the headliner back up, voila. This one will just pop out and plug right in. It'll actually be really easy to replace. But once it's replaced, we then have to stitch up this hole you can see that the seat is completely ripped open. So we're gonna try to sew that up. I got some heavy duty seat thread off of Amazon. I'll put a link to that in the description and we're gonna sew it up with that. And we have the driver's seat belt here. It's actually cut. The reason it's cut is because when I picked the car up, I had to pull it off the trailer. And to put these new Dodges into reverse or any gear for the matter, you have to have the seat belt initiated. It won't let you turn the car from park to any other gear if the seatbelt's not in the seatbelt buckle. So I had to chop it because the seatbelt had blown and I couldn't reach the seat to plug it back in, but it doesn't matter because we have to replace it anyway. This is the passenger seatbelt. You can see it's exploded. No one was sitting in the seat or maybe they were, but they weren't wearing their seatbelt. You can see how tough it is. It like won't budge. I'm putting all my weight into it and nothing's happening. No wonder people get bruises from this. I mean, it hurts my hand just like squeezing it. I can't imagine when it feels like in a car accident. So this all has to get unbolted and we'll put the new one in. The last thing that needs to get fixed in here is there's this little clip down here, which makes it so that when you open the top, it just like explodes backwards because this clip's broken. So we're gonna replace it as well so the interior is as functional as possible. And then once everything is repaired in here, we're gonna deep clean this baby because it is filthy. There is just grime everywhere. There's like these toothpick things everywhere. There's toothpick things stuck behind this phone holder. I'm gonna have to use a tool to get it out. I mean, it doesn't look too dirty on camera, but it is really dirty in person. And like in the back, there's a bunch of grime in the seats and there's like this moldy thing in the cup holder back here. I have no idea what it is, but it's very moldy, very gross, kind of stinky. So I'm gonna fill that up with some cleaning solution and we'll get that out. But yeah, the interior in here is actually in really good condition. I mean, it's only got 58,000 miles, so it should be in really good condition, but these trucks are used and abused because they're worker trucks. And this was definitely being used as kind of like a contractor truck. It has like sawdust all over it. A note to anybody working on airbags, you have to undo your battery. Do not leave it plugged in. If you leave it plugged in and you replace one of your airbags, the new airbag could explode in your face and it could kill you. It's like a little bag of gunpowder meant to deploy really fast in a collision. So unplug your battery, save your life, have a nice car when you're done. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start by getting this headliner off. All right, so now we just kinda like have to wiggle the headliner to the other side and then like come in through there, take the old airbag out, put the new one in and then put the headliner back. It sounds easy, but like, there's really no space to work. Wow, ugly. 
I'm actually gonna unbolt this as well, and then I think the rest of the headliner kind of come down a little bit more. All right, yeah, with that off, it seems like the headliner wants to come down because this cord is free. We can get a full picture of what the other headliner airbag looks like. That's the ignition mechanism, and then that's the whole airbag that goes across there. We got the airbags out. This is a cool little comparison. This is it undeployed. This is the new one that we just got. And this is it deployed. Look how big that thing is. Crazy how much they pack into that little roll. So this is the noob airbag, and I brought it out because I didn't really understand how I'm supposed to get this out. And I saw that there's these two screws. And I figured out this is like the orientation it is inside of here. So it's bolted to the frame of the seat. So back here, I've unzippered it. And I found the bolts in there, in, under here, and all the way up. I'm not really sure I'm supposed to get a wrench in there or what size it is, because I can't pull it back. I don't want to rip this. You can see as I'm pulling, it's starting to pull the seam a lot. And I was seeing if I could undo this, but I have to undo the entire seat to do it. So I think I'm just gonna like try a bunch of different wrenches, and just wiggle the bolts out and then put the new one in and wiggle the bolts back in versus taking apart the entire seat. Maybe save some time. All right, we ended up getting this out. For anyone who's doing this themselves, the bolt was a 5 16 bolt. Um, a mini ratchet with a deep socket really helps. This is the airbag. It's kind of got a funny shape to it, you know? If you, if you look at it a little, uh, look at the broader picture of it, you know? Kind of a funny shaped airbag, don't you say? This is the little sewing kit that I got for this. This is some like heavy duty thread. So it's probably between these two colors. And then we're gonna use one of these bigger needles and we'll start putting it through. This one looks a little too light. This looks like it's pretty spot on. Okay, you pull it all the way through. And whatever length you're gonna use, you're gonna use twice as long because your needle's gonna be right in the middle of it. So essentially you're using thread that's like twice as thick. I never thought I'd be teaching how to sew on my YouTube channel. And then you're just gonna knot the end that you cut. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. Not it. Got the seat all sewed up. It actually looks better than I thought it was gonna look. I kind of thought it was gonna look like crap, but it's not bad. Obviously shows up a bit more than the original thread and is definitely not dark enough, but not too shabby. I mean, a professional definitely would have done a better job, but this will hold it together and it was $10. All right, last few things in here. We need to pop the seat belts out. So we need to open all these up, both sides probably have to cut that seat belt because it's so tight and we'll replace that buckle. I'm gonna cut this on camera because I feel like it might explode. Oh, look at that tension. That was not very climactic.
small issue. I've ordered two right seat belts and not a left. So one of these, the explosive mechanism is supposed to be on this side, like it is here. But I have two rights. So we'll do the other side and I will order this and hopefully it gets here ASAP. And since the other seatbelt is not here yet, we can replace this. It's just three screws. Now, the last thing we're waiting for is that seatbelt but it's not gonna be here for a few days. So in the meantime, deep cleaning the interior is next. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm actually filming this outro video like two months later. I've been in the process of moving from LA to Austin, Texas, and I just haven't had time to finish editing. And then I realized I didn't have enough footage to put the video together. So yeah, I've been dailying this truck for like two months now and it's awesome. I love it. Um, the only thing I don't love is the paint on the door and the fender. They're, they're off. Uh, I don't know if the clear coat was off or the paint was off, but once the new shop at my new place is complete, I will repaint those and I'll make a video of doing it and any other finishing touches on the car that have to get done. But for now, the truck is done and it's being a bit of a workhorse. It's been towing a bunch of things and just doing truck things, you know? I've never had a truck before and it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty great. For those of you who are following my Dotson restoration, I will have new videos of that very soon. The new shop is almost done. I'm gonna have a video on that as well. And then we're gonna get back to that restoration and we're gonna get that thing done. So that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button, and I will catch you guys on the next one.